Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, this is Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to the channel and receive everything you need to do to actually grow your cleaning business to six figures and beyond using federal government contracts. So I spoke about now the three phases of winning cleaning contracts and what do you need to do once you've won. So now you've won the contract, how do you actually pay for it? One of the things you need to understand is that sometimes when you win a contract, you may need between eighty dollars and $130,000 to really have the working capital. Now, how many people have eighty dollars or $130,000 available without them really going through a lot? Most people don't. So some of the things you can do is prepare now. Start setting money aside. And the reason why they talk about eighty to 130000 is because you may need more talent. Those are employees. You may need the resources. There are a lot of things you may need that come under the working capital. Maybe a moment before you get paid. So I always suggest starting small. Start with a contract that might be a micro purchase that's under $10,000. Start with a contract that might be a simplified acquisition procurement, which is a threshold of $250,000. But there's so many things you can do. The other thing you can do is to look at getting a small business loan from your bank. That might sound really challenging, but start building the relationship with people you bank with. If you go into Bank of America or SunTrust or Wells Fargo, start building the relationship. You'd be surprised how if you're trying to grow your business, and even if you don't have a lot of employees, this might be a really great place to start. Do joint ventures. Have someone that you go into this contract with. Have it that they have maybe 10,000, you have 10,000 and come together. You don't have to partner as far as completely have a partnership with your business, but definitely sign a contract for this one in particular government contract you're looking to work on. But there are several things you can do. You can even call SBA, Small Business Administration, and see about getting a small business loan. But whatever you do, don't bite off more than you can chew and make sure that you don't give up on the quest to start doing federal government cleaning contracts. There's so many things you can do and grow, but start off small, build the momentum, and then continue to go forward. If you want to learn more about ways you can win big with government cleaning contracts, then make sure you click the link below to register for my How to Win Big with Government Cleaning Contracts. You will love the masterclass. We have a great time. We do a Q&A session where we go over so much of what you need to do and what you need to learn right now. It's applicable now. Not a couple of years, but right now. What we do, we learn. And so that way, our goal is to teach you. There are so many different areas, the far, this, that, what you need to do, what's going to work, what's not. We simplify it for you. So if you want to learn more on what you need to do with actually winning big with federal government cleaning contracts, then click the link below to come to the master class. Make sure you bring your pen and paper because you're going to have some things you can implement right away. So until next time, take care and I look to see you soon. Bye-bye.